Welcome to the deep dive. Ready for another one? Always. What are we diving into today? Today, we're tackling a subject that's colorful, historic, and surprisingly deep. Uh, oh, I know this one. We're talking flags. Oh, right. Flags. I knew it. And joining me today is a vexillologist. That's right. A fancy word for a flag expert. Exactly. Yeah. So let's get right into it. When most people think of flags, they think of a rectangle with some colors or symbols. Right. But there's so much more to it than that. Exactly. Yeah. And a perfect example of that is the flag of Nepal. Oh, Nepal. Now that's a unique one. So what's so special about the Nepalese flag? Well, for starters, it's not a rectangle. Wait, really? What is it then? It's actually two triangles stacked on top of each other. Triangles, that's uh, that's pretty different. It is, it's the only national flag in the world that's not a quadrilateral. Wow, so what's the story there? Why triangles? Well, it's all about symbolism. The triangles represent the Himalayas. Ah, makes sense. Those mountains are iconic. Exactly. They dominate the landscape and they hold deep spiritual significance in Nepalese culture. They're seen as the dwelling places of gods and goddesses. Wow, so the mountains are practically a third religion in themselves. You could say that. And that spiritual connection to the mountains blends beautifully with the flag's religious symbolism. The two triangles also represent the balance between Hinduism and Buddhism, the two major religions in Nepal. It's amazing how much meaning they tacked into such a simple design. Right, that's the power of flags. Speaking of powerful symbolism, our next flag takes us to Mozambique. Mozambique. Now that one's got a story to tell. It sure does. What comes to mind when you think about the Mozambique flag? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is the AK-47. It's not every day you see an assault rifle on a flag. You can say that again. But in the context of Mozambique's history, it makes sense. Yeah, they fought a long and hard struggle for independence. Exactly. And that AK-47 represents their willingness to fight for their freedom and defend it against any threat. But there's more to it than just that. Oh yeah, there are other symbols on there too, right? Right next to the AK-47, you'll find a hoe, representing agriculture, and a book, which symbolizes education. It's like they're saying, look, we've been through a lot, but we're focused on building a better future. That's a great way to put it. They're not shying away from their past, but they're also looking forward to the future. It's a powerful message for sure. It really is. And it kind of reminds me of something you said earlier about flags being like time capsules. Oh yeah. Well, our next flag takes us way back in time to a country with a history as rich and fascinating as its flag, Denmark. Ah, Denmark, the home of the Danabrog. The Danabrog. The Danabrog. It's the oldest continuously used national flag in the world. Well, really, how old are we talking? It dates back to the early 13th century, 1219 to be exact. 1219, that's, uh, that's older than some countries. It is. So what's the story behind this ancient banner? What makes it so special? Well, legend has it that the Danabrog made a rather dramatic entrance onto the world stage. Oh, uh. tell me more. Picture this, a fierce battle is raging in Estonia. Danish forces are on the brink of defeat when suddenly from the sky above, a crimson banner emblazoned with a white cross descends. Well, hold on. So you're saying this flag literally fell out of the sky? That's what the legend says. Okay. Uh, I, I can only imagine what must have been going through the minds of those soldiers. Did they think it was a sign from God? You can bet there were some wide eyes and dropped jaws on that battlefield. But for the Danish forces, it seems to have been interpreted as a sign of divine favor. A beacon of hope in their darkest hour. Exactly. And they ended up winning the battle, right? That's right. They rallied behind this sign from above and claimed victory. Wow. Talk about a morale booster. Yeah. So this legend, I mean, it obviously had a huge impact on that battle, but did it have any lasting effects on Denmark as a nation? Absolutely. For centuries, the Danabrog has been a potent symbol of Danish national identity. It embodies their history, their unity, their perseverance through good times and bad. I imagine that legend has something to do with why the Danes are so proud of their flag today. Oh, absolutely. The Danabrog is more than just a flag in Denmark. It's a powerful symbol of their national identity. It really makes you think about the process of designing a national flag. Yeah, what goes into creating these enduring symbols of a nation? Exactly. Like, do they have committees and brainstorming sessions and stuff. You would be surprised. It's actually a very complex process. Really? I bet. It's not just about aesthetics either. It's about capturing the essence of a nation, its history, its values, its aspirations. There's a lot of pressure then. You could say that. They bring in historians, artists, cultural experts, you name it. Wow. 
Imagine being a fly on the wall for one of those meetings. Right. All those different perspectives coming together to create something meaningful and enduring. Kind of makes you wonder what our own personal flags would look like. That's an interesting thought. What symbols would you choose to represent yourself? Hmm. That's a tough one. I think mine would have to have a giant stack of books on it. Of course. Maybe with a steaming cup of coffee next to it. And then uh, maybe a quirky quote running along the side just for good measure. I like it. What about you? Any ideas for your personal banner? Hmm. Mine might be a bit more abstract. Mm. Maybe a series of interconnected circles representing the continuous pursuit of knowledge and the interconnectedness of all things. Very nice. But enough about us. What about our listeners out there? Right. What about you guys? What resonated most with you today? What flags caught your eye? Did you have any aha moments about flags you thought you knew? It's amazing what you can learn from diving into these seemingly simple symbols, right? Absolutely. There's a whole world of history and culture and meaning packed into every flag. You might not remember every single detail, but I bet the next time you see a flag waving in the wind, you'll see it in a whole new light. I hope so. Flags are more than just pieces of fabric. They're powerful symbols of who we are and where we come from. They really are. And on that note, I think it's time for us to wrap up this deep dive. Until next time, keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep those curiosity flags flying high. Thanks for joining us on the deep dive.